Right, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the NBA Summer League and the four games which have happened so far in the California Classic Summer League. Um, there is still uh, four more, no, two more games left. Um, but I'm just, I just thought there was a break. There's a day break in between the next ones, so I just wanted to talk about the ones that have happened so far and some of the standout players which I've seen from it who I'm quite impressed with, to be honest. There's been a few games that have been awful, as you would expect, really. The Summer League is kind of just like, oh, let's just try out some different players and some different positions which they can play in, hence why you don't see many notable names. I think probably the most notable name that's really played so far that isn't a new draftee is uh, Moses Moody, who played a little bit, who got his like face cut open in the last game. So yeah, I'm just going to be going through like game by game. So the first game we're going to talk about is the Miami Heat versus the LA Lakers, which was the first game that happened. So the score in this one was 100 to 66 to the LA Lakers, which it was it wasn't a great game, let's be honest. Um, the overall kind of game was like there was a lot of turnovers and stuff. The from what you what I've seen in this, the LA Lakers team looks like a lot more coherent team. They look like they kind of know what they're doing a bit more. A lot of the other teams, in especially these four teams, are turning the ball over extremely, like way too much. Like I know they're only young players and it's a trial period kind of thing. They're turning the ball over extremely too much, doing passes which they're not looking at. They're not good enough doing. And in this game, the two standout performers, in my opinion, were uh, Jay Huff and Scotty Pippen Jr. Um, Scotty Pippen Jr. having he didn't actually shoot the ball very well. He had a 33.3% field goal percentage. Um, it wasn't great, um, but he did get 14 points, which is good. It's not it's not bad for a for a new team kind of thing. Um, I was very he also did get six rebounds, um, so he he did quite well. You know, um, only 20% from three, but as we say. Everyone was shooting from three. I don't think there was that many players that had a good percentage from three, in my opinion. All horrible shots, to be honest. And then the other one for me was uh, Jay Huff. He was really good. Um, he actually did get seven rebounds. Um, he got uh, nine points, um, two blocks, and two assists. Um, and Scotty Pippen did also get uh, Scotty Pippen Jr. Sorry, did also get three assists. Um, I was quite impressed with their team. Um, they did play really well. Um, it's hard. It's hard to say, isn't it? Really, because it's it's basically a lot of G League players, a lot of uh, new drafted players. So it's hard to say how good these players are actually going to be. However, Scotty Pippen Jr. looks like he knows what he's doing with the ball more. It's more about. In my opinion, the Summer League is more about seeing who is good with the ball, seeing who doesn't fold under the pressure, because a lot of these players making silly mistakes, and even Scotty Pippen Jr. having bad shooting, it could have been worse. He played, he did play well in this game, but it was a horrible game to watch, I'm going to be honest. The only player from the Miami Heat, which was any decent, to be honest, I'm not even sure there really was one, to be honest. Um, Javante Smart, maybe... He scored 13 points. Jovic didn't really do anything. He got three rebounds. And that's about it. He got three points. It it wasn't a great game at all. Um, I wasn't that impressed whatsoever, to be honest. Um, and the Miami Heat didn't really play well in either game, to be honest. Uh, I wasn't really impressed with any of their players. Moving on to the next game, which was the Sacramento Kings versus the Golden State Warriors. Um, which the score was 86 to 68. Yep. <laughs> so the the Kings won this easily. Um, it was it was Keegan Murray was very good in this game. To be fair, he got 26 points, um, eight rebounds. So an all round great game, and he only played 28 minutes. So he was the main one that I was really impressed with. To be honest, um, he played he played really well, and a lot of other players played okay. Um, I would say he was a standout one. Overall, the team wasn't great. Again, shooting threes, just trying to shoot as many threes as possible. It was a close-er game. I wouldn't say it was a close game, because it was still like 20 points. 
difference. The one that I was most impressed with and most surprised was it was on the Golden State Warriors was uh, Santos. Uh, he's from Brazil, I think. I saw a lot of Brazilian um, like newspapers and stuff reporting on him, so I'd assume he's from Brazil. Picked up by the Golden State Warriors this season in around pick 55. Uh, it seems to be a good pickup. 23 points, um, one block, three steals, uh, one assist, six rebounds. So, and a, and a field goal percentage of 53.8. It's, it's not a bad showing. Um, although his three point percentage was 25%. So, so, so it wasn't bad. Jessup was good as well, I thought. But overall, um, Keegan Murray was obviously what you'd expect him to be for the fourth overall pick and he seems to be good um he seems to have a good composure in my opinion 80 percent from three um 71.4 percent field goal percentage extremely good game for him i was really impressed with him it's he that is the most important thing is um keeping your composure and the kings might have actually got a really good player here which is interesting because he only played 30 minutes and he's putting up these stats. Um, I'm really interested to see more of him. And we'll talk about him more in the next game to see what he did there. So right, the next game was the Miami Heat versus the Kings. So this game was kind of interesting. The Miami Heat, again, awful. They The Miami Heat lost 81-64 to the Kings. Um, it was, again, I'm, I've not been very impressed with the Miami Heat whatsoever. It really, it wasn't a great performance from anyone. Javante Smart again, 12 points, 4 assists, 1 steal, 1 block. It wasn't anything like crazy, so I wasn't really that impressed from anyone from the Miami Heat. Again, it seems like no one's doing very good. Um, Javante Smart seems like he played, he played the most minutes as well, so they're probably thinking he's one of their better players. Again, Jovic, six points, one assist, really nothing, not impressive at the minute. So, Keegan Murray didn't actually have a great game in this one. After all that praise in his uh, debut, um, it, he only got nine points, 14.3% uh, shooting from three. It's come down to back to reality a bit there, it seems, with a field goal percentage of 26.7%. And even on Twitter, I was seeing people raving about, oh, this guy had one of the best debuts that they've seen. He didn't in the second game. I can tell you that for free. He did not play well, really, whatsoever. Two assists, one steal, at one block. He's come back down to earth a bit there. So he's not played extremely well. Um, there are some other good players here. Like, no one really had a standout game. Um, I'm not sure how to say this guy's name. Rahodin. Um, 21 minutes, got a field goal percentage of 42.9%, uh, shooting from three, 25%, so no one shooting from three very well. It wasn't a great game to watch, I watched it. I'd say the best game so far was the Kings versus the Warriors, because it was kind of a battle between Santos and Murray. They both played extremely well, um, that was the best game. This one was a bit dry, so we'll be moving on to the next one now. So the next game was the LA Lakers versus the Golden State Warriors, which the Lakers won 100 to 77. Again, I think the Lakers had a great team performance in this game. Seems like they were all on the same kind of wavelength kind of thing. Um, so Jay Jay Hoff again, one of the standout performers, got 10 points, uh, <laughs> three blocks, six rebounds. So he did play well again. Scotty Pippen Jr., not a bad game, 15 points this time. Uh, shooting a bit better from three, 33.3% from three, and a field goal percentage, which is a lot better, at 57.1. Uh, I was quite impressed with how he played. Um, there's Bass as well, who got nine points, um, did a bit as well, six rebounds, one assist. It seems like the LA Lakers were more of a team than an individual, to be honest. They did play well. It is, it is good. I'm, I was very impressed with how they played as a team more than individuals, in my opinion. They seemed well coached and knew what they were doing. Golden, Golden State, Jessup played well again, probably their top performer. Uh, Santos, another good performer. But Moses Moody was extremely disappointing. I'm not sure about Moses Moody, to be honest. He didn't seem great. 
but Jessup and Santos played well together, I thought anyway. Uh, both played about 20, 23, 24 minutes, so not bad, but nothing really to rave about. So the main, the main players that I want to talk about really from this that I was most impressed with um, was the mainly from the Kings and the Golden State Warriors, the LA Lakers as well. I'm not really going to talk about anyone from the Miami Heat. As I said, um, Javante Smart, okay, he wasn't great. He wasn't extremely what I was hoping to see from the Heat. I was hoping to see a lot better performance, to be honest. Yeah, so the main the main players I'm going to talk about now are the ones that I was most impressed with. I did actually forget to talk about one of them in the first segment, who I thought was amazing. Like one of the most dominant players on the on the like floor most of the time that he was playing. Um, so the first one I'm going to talk about, quite an obvious one, the one we all expected to be good was uh, Keegan Murray. First game, he definitely lived up to the hype. Second game, bit of a stinker, it didn't perform very well at all. So he might be a player that you just need to bed in because he seems like he has good potential. And that's what we saw from the first game. He has good potential, but can it be realised um, well enough in the structure of the Sacramento Kings? It's hard to say at this point. They've got one more game where he, we'll see what he does with the third game. He had a good first game, a bad second game, and we can see what he does with that third game. That's my opinion on it. Um, one of the the only other player which I'd like to talk about from the Kings was Quetta. I think that's how you say his name. Yeah, so Quetta as a centre, he played extremely well in both both games that I saw. 14 points, a great a great player in that first game, and he seemed to dominate like everything. He was extremely good, and he was actually I was impressed with him more over the two games than I was with um, Keegan Murray, in my opinion. He he was dom he was dominant, and I, f I found that with a lot of the big guys, a lot of the centers seem to be able to get easy blocks and stuff. So I don't, but it's hard to say how they'll perform in the NBA because these guys aren't going to be as good as the players in the NBA. So are they going to be an effective shot blocker or be as dominant in a league where the standard is so much higher than it is than we're seeing them right now? If you know what I mean. So that's it from the Sacramento Kings. Um, so let's move on to the LA Lakers. Now the LA Lakers were a team that I was extremely impressed with, like for the whole like team, pretty much. So for me, Scotty Pippen Jr. a clear standout. He was great in my opinion. There was a lot of like passes that he was doing was amazing. He got a lot of assists. Um, I was very impressed with how he played. He seemed he seemed to be very composed, and that's what I liked. And there's another centre which I'd like to talk about who seemed to dominate as well. His name was Jay Huff. It seemed really good in my opinion. I was very impressed with him. Uh, again, just another big centre that was dominating the floor. Those two, so Scotty Pippen Jr. and Jay Huff, best two players on LA for me. However, I would like to say a great team performance in both games. The coaching must be great there, to be honest. I was very impressed, and I'm excited to see what they do against the Kings now, because that is going to be the best two teams which have played over the two games to see what they do. And for the Golden State Warriors, uh, I was very impressed with Jessup, very good player, um, and Santos were the best two, in my opinion. Santos is very surprising. Um, he seems to be a bit sporadic, so he wasn't as great in the second game as he was in the first. However, he does seem like he's got something there. He's got a lot of raw talent, which could be used by the Warriors. They've got a great development team at the Warriors, so I would like to see that be you. Moses Moody, very disappointing. I wasn't impressed whatsoever. He really needs to improve, to be honest. But overall, it was it was a good game. All the games that they played were good. Right, so yeah, that's a recap of the first four games in the California Classic Summer League. Um, yeah, I just wanted to talk about it because I found a lot of the young players quite interesting. It's hard to say how they'll do in the NBA, um, but I just thought it'd be interesting to look at their stats and see how they performed in every game. Because there's a lot of hype around some of these players, especially Keegan Murray, um, who in the first game deserved the hype, in the second wasn't great. So... I'd, I'm interested to see where it goes, and yeah, if anyone wants to see any more Summer League like, videos, hit the like button and I'll make more, because I, I love watching basketball, and I watch every game, well I try to anyway, as long as I'm not doing too much, but I watched all these games so far, so if you want me to keep making videos, please like and subscribe, uh, and thank you for watching.